Today we are making a major upgrade to our RV. I like it, honestly. It's not gonna be this blue, obviously. Hey everybody, I'm Garrett with Diary of a Family where we're intentionally living life with you. Today, we are changing out our desk and making it much more functional for our RV. Now, to give you a little bit of background, we used the original desktop that was a dresser in our RV. It worked for a while, but it was just so small and cramped. We are adding onto our usable workspace and we're super excited about this. The first thing we did is we set our project board right on top of the old desk. This allowed us to really get a good visual of what we needed to cut and trim and how we wanted it to look overall. We are figuring out how we want our desk set up on this area. It fits a lot better than we thought it was, so we're only gonna make some minor changes. Nothing too big. Let's go down to the corner. We just wanted a little more rounded corners. We still have kids running around in the trailer, so. Hey, and it's probably for you and I, so we don't bruise ourselves. Yeah. Pie pans. Pie pan. Oh my goodness. Old school. The same on both sides. And that should help us get nice rounded corners on the edges. Nice. Make it a little bit nicer. One thing we realized is we didn't have to make too many changes to this desk to make it work well for us. These are some of the tools that you will need to do this project yourself. A project panel that we got at Lowe's. We're gonna be using a grayish penetrating stain and then we're gonna be sealing it up with this polyurethane clear semi-gloss. We're gonna use this wood glue to adhere this desktop to the top of the desk. We're going to secure using these little L brackets and we're going to be using these screws and with the glue and the screws they definitely will not go anywhere. We'll be using a jigsaw and a sander. Now that we have everything measured out we are going to go ahead and cut those edges. Next step, we took the handheld router and finished off all the other edges so that we had no sharp edges on that desk. Next, we finished cutting out the hole that all of our cables go into. Now we're going to take a sander and sand over the entire desk, including all of the edges. <laughs> One quick tip, make sure to wipe off any remaining sawdust that is left over from the sanding before you put on your stain. Next, let's get this desk stained. So, at first glance, what do you think of this color? It's blue. <laughs> it's very blue. This light doesn't even do it justice. There we go. Uh, so, toweling it off, it's supposed to look gray? Yeah, it's supposed to be like that grayish stain color. It is very important that you read the container before you buy a certain color or a stain. I was going for a more of a grayish color, that's what I thought, and the photo made it look like it was a gray color. Well, if you looked right down below, it said navy, and that's navy blue. So he has the choice to change the color because we've done this on the underside. Always do it somewhere. You've decided you like the blue. Yeah. Okay, so we're it's, going with it's navy. It's a nice color contrast and I think it'll kind of make a accent piece in the, yeah. in the room. And then, I mean, we're gonna do a semi-gloss finish over the top of it so it'll yes. shine a little bit more. Yeah. It's not gonna be this blue, obviously, no. but it's gonna be definitely something I think that people will talk about when they walk into the trailer. And now we wait. Do you want me to try to darken this? Or I guess it'll lighten up when it dries on the way. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm fine with it, with a little bit lighter. Amazing. 
that is amazing. Now, after we were all done with the staining, we went and put that polyurethane clear coat on and we put a couple layers on, let it dry, and we took a steel wool and we took off just a slight layer and took off all the extra bumps to make it nice and smooth before we added another layer on. Now, the, the layering and the process of letting everything dry and cure, that can take a couple days. This project is not something you want to do if you are under a time constraint. Now, the fun part begins because we are going to put this desk together. First thing I did was I went and I took off the old desk top. Now, I wasn't sure exactly what this would entail because I've never taken one of these off before. And I'm very thankful that they only use those really long staples instead of glue. Now, after you have that desk off, you want to remove all of the staples that are remaining sticking up because uh, trust me, you're not gonna be able to put that back down. What I used to get the remaining staples off the desk was my Dremel with a grinder head. And it, it took maybe five minutes to get all of those off. The last steps that I went through, I put the desk on to make sure it would fit to where I wanted. I moved one of the supports out to the edge, outer edge of the desk, the one that is kind of floating out there to give it a little more support. And then the next step was putting the brackets on and gluing and screwing the desktop onto the new desk. Feels like an office. Yeah. It's amazing how much about a foot and a half by about two inches will do to a workspace. And the fact that we put so many hours into this beautiful blue. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. I like it. It <laughs> turned out a lot better than we were thinking. It was one of those pleasant mistakes. A pleasant mistake, yeah. Yeah. And we're all done. Overall, we cannot be happier with the outcome of this new desk. It provides so much more space for us. We can spread out, we can get multiple computers lined out nicely on the desk. We have our printer accessible now. It has turned out to be such a blessing and has been so helpful for our lives on the road. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live life intentionally. Bye everybody. If you're looking at it, see, that's that's where it's gonna stop. So it's gonna it's gonna go. See that? Oh, until it gets to that. So See you that just, ring. You just pull it to the ring and then yeah. just go. Along. Now the key is, you're you're rotating like this, right? Uh huh. Okay. So if you're gonna go this way, it's gonna wanna zip off because you're going with the. Ground.